welcome to our youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss about stage 4 of substation gantry structure loads as per european standard en 50341 part 1 in this stage 4 we are going to discuss about primary loads and the load combinations so in this sheet you can see these are the primary loads a list of primary loads which we need to calculate further more there are several group eight number of groups are there in the first group we are going to calculate only the dead loads one is one a is a dead load without ice another one is one b dead load with ice next one is wire tension this is nothing but the tension which is going to apply or which is going to form in the conductor and the earth wire where the conductor used to connect in girder and earth wire is fixed on the top of the tower so for that we need to calculate in various temperatures that is mainly for three temperatures this is required as per the european standard for zero degree temperature we need to calculate the wire tension for minus 20 and for minus 40 which is a maximum sorry which is a minimum descent temperature which we had defined here based upon the technical specification so this all three wire tension for zero degree deviation are to be considered in a group id 2 for group id 3 it is 30 degree deviation of wire tension let me explain what is this degree 30 degree and 0 degree 30 30 and 0 0 and the fourth group is we need to calculate the extreme wind on 0 45 and 90 degree zero is as we said it is a parallel to conductor span 45 is a diagonal to conductor span and 90 degree is a uh, perpendicular to conductor span wind direction so similar like high wind moderate wind and short circuit force generally as we said earlier that uh, short circuit force will not be may not be um, considered in most of the european countries finally the minimum temperature t minimum this we need to apply uh, directly on structure so these are the primary loads and when we come back to the load combinations so these are the major load combinations the load combinations are mainly categorized based upon the european standard and it's a national annexure so for that page number 58 and 66 to be referred for 58 if you see so there are various combinations details like wind and ice are given here and if you go for 66 you can find here various uh, partial factor based upon the wind ice load combinations safety loads and construction maintenance loads sulfate security loads for sulfate we need to consider only the factor as 1.0 so that we are considering here sulfate is a sw and for wind for uh, reliability level 2 it is 1.2 but before this uh, referring this to table we need to refer the national annexure for better load combinations so in the right hand side you can see a tabular form well explain about the load combination and its partial factor so we no need to consider this unbalanced ice or transversal bending for this criteria for gantry structure this is may not be applicable most of this substation gantries so for first one year it is extreme wind for that uh, uh, for uh, reliability level 2 we need to consider 1.2 
so then our table need to update here so then that load combination table there is some mistake to be rectified so it should be two yeah it should be 1.2 as per the table shown in the picture above in the right hand side so now it is corrected as correct load combinations so likewise we need to derive the load combination from the table shown here extreme wind so these are the three cases and minimum temperature is a t minimum where we need to consider this minus 40 degree wire tensions in both the deviations so 0 degree and 30 30 degree so similar like extreme ice plus snow we need to consider the factor which we had defined here the combined factor for ice plus snow we need to consider extreme ice plus moderate wind high wind plus normal or moderate ice with various directions and finally the construction and maintenance the short circuit force we are not adding here so that is not to be considered at this level or else we can also have this short circuit force also that can be factor can be considered as one as stated here as a security and accidental loads we need to consider only the factor as a zero sorry 1.0 for SCF and sulfate we can consider as it is one so these are the load combinations we need to consider again this load combination is general for wire tension at zero degree so we will see what is this zero zero and thirty thirty see for generally the gantry structure if you are going to design that used to have two uh, type of uh, deviation one is vertical another one is uh, horizontal say for example in plan view which is showing the right hand side of the picture you can see here if suppose this a conductor if it is going in a straight direction with respect to the, uh, the perpendicular axis of girder then we can call it as it is zero degree in uh, horizontal similar like in section view if it is straight uh, perpendicular to the tower vertical axis then we can call it as zero degree vertical deviation similar like if 30 degree means there will be some angle or deviation or slope in the plan view in terms of horizontal deviation for ground clearance checking that should not go beyond 30 degree so we are considering for maximum deviation this will uh, create a transverse loads that is why we need to consider this 30 degree deviation also in some cases we can do consider only the zero degree in case of optimization solution similar like for vertical upward direction there is a deviation here with respect to the vertical plane of tower axis so that is also we need to consider maximum of 30 degree in sometimes there is also some vertical downward cases for that we need to enter here minus 30 degree so that it will be considered as a downward direction where we used to get some minus that is a potential force in vertical cases so that is why we need to calculate this load cases uh, primary cases in 0 0 and 30 30 maximum deviation and uh, no deviation of conductors or wire tensions so let we see one by one 
in detail uh, explanation about how to calculate this 20 numbers not 20 only the 19 numbers of the conductors in detail thank you look description for more related videos subscribe to this channel for more updates thank you